Hey, what's up, beautiful people? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. And I hope you had a good couple of weeks and uh, been doing well. You know what I mean? So I've been doing, doing well, actually. Been back at work for a couple of weeks and uh, I'm happy that I'm back at work. And also be working in for safety, so I'm just trying to put things into place and all that type of stuff. And um, be happy, you know? So it's uh, the same people start coming back and all that, which is good. Get some extra company as well in itself. But yeah, the same. I was looking, I just came from uh, from my garden for I was coming into uh, into the garden and stuff as well. So I think I need to put a bit of uh, grass seeds down because I see the grass is uh, kind of extra dry because it's been really kind of hot, hot, hot down, down in um, jolly old London. So uh, the grass has gone slightly brown. You know what I mean? So I'll put some uh, one of these like fertilized green um, seeds in. Uh, they poked them out and all that, put them in. Then uh, I think it's supposed to be uh, raining, so, so I might just do it on uh, do it on Monday. Let it rain over the weekend. Do it on Monday, then uh, you know, it is. hopefully we'll help actually uh, get the grass to grow a bit more. You know what I mean? So I mean, they even used a new picnic bench that we um, picnic bench that bought and uh, sat outside had a bit of lunch. So it's been good. And uh, grew a couple of marrows, had another couple of marrows go. And actually had a couple of, uh, but, um, what's it called? It? Uh, tomatoes. Or like tomatoes, 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 potato, potato, how you want to pronounce it, you know what I mean? So uh, people tend to say a bit of a, a, a Cockney London geezer, you know what I mean? So um, it's been, been pretty well, to be honest, you know what I mean? And uh, I was actually looking, checking out with um, like some friends, and he was telling me that he was uh, his son was uh, getting bullied at school earlier in the year because I haven't seen him. Um, probably <laughs> chat here and there over like up in a month, but probably the first time I actually saw him over the weekend. And he was like telling me, he goes, Chris, man, who we'll live what was happening with my son. He only found like early, like sometimes his kid would uh, come home kind of looking upset and all that type of stuff, but his son never really said anything. Do you know what I mean? And so he came to a point where in early January, but uh, early to mid January, he came home, he was crying. He found out that we're getting bullied. Do you know what I mean? And it took him all the way until they started sorting things out, well, see, then all this uh, pandemic happens, do you know what I mean? So, in a way, it's been uh, kind of good because he's calmed down a lot. And uh, so obviously he went back to school and stuff like that, and teachers did say, you'll keep an eye, do you know what I mean? So, the uh, kid that's actually going, he's gone into secondary school because he was like, uh, about two years older than him. So, hopefully it should be actually uh, all right now, but you never know. <laughs> what things is going on in it so I mean even I managed to like chat with a little man and all, all that type of stuff and told him said look uh, I know I know it's upset you and it's, things are things happen for a reason but I said look you're a strong boy you're a good boy just just be yourself don't have to think you have to change yourself for anyone or anything like that you do what makes you feel happy do you know what I mean it's not you're never gonna be liked by everyone you're never going to be hated by everyone. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to have people that like you. You're going to have people that hate you. Do you know what I mean? But I said, don't worry. I said, as long as you're doing what makes you happy, that's the best. And I said, we've all been like bullied somewhere or another or anything like that in our lifetime. And um, even I've been kind of bullied growing up. You know what I mean? I remember going, going to school. And it's like people trying to, as I said, we're playing cricket or something like that. Guy come around through the ball over the fence and all that. Think it was funny trying to bully and all that type of stuff, but it wasn't nice trying to bully other people. And even the last couple of years, I'd always do things for diversity, doing things with my turban. Like even when it comes to like Independence Day for like America, Fourth of July or something like that, or Jamaica's Independence Day or St George's, St Andrews or whatever day it is, I'd um, do like a um, customize my turban to it, obviously, to teach people who seek are and 
and obviously show that we can integrate with other people and stuff, you know. And uh, I still had like people trying to say, oh, What are you doing there? and trying to push me around. Obviously, stuff for Christmas, I put like a Christmas suit on and like the ball balls in the bed and stuff. And there was this one, um, that's Asian group, or well, it's an Asian group, or well, no, I think it was an in Instagram, I forgot what it's called now. Shows how good it is, you forget what it's called. And the had a picture of me in my Christmas suit, and the caption was, when you wanna fit in with your Gordon mates, which means you wanna fit in with your white mates. Form of bullying, you know what I mean? So, someone else, one of my friends said, oh, Christian, I saw this and that. So I've messaged the guy saying, look, it's not right what you're doing, it's a form of bullying. Do you know what I mean? Because I only did it for fun. I said, you don't realize that uh, you think it's fun, but the person you're doing it to, it's obviously can upset them. I'm strong enough to actually rise above it, but I said, don't mean it's still right to do. Do you know what I mean? So I said, you need to take it down. You know what I mean? So I said, if you're not going to take it down, then obviously I'll have to go through like the courts and stuff the right way. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not right to actually go and bully other people just, just because you want to have but fun. And I was like, you know what? And I said, mate, mate, if you've got something wrong in your life, man, just talk to me. I said, look, I don't mind helping you out. Do you know what I mean? So they always say sometimes uh, people don't deserve even your kindness. Do you know what I mean? You just kind of kill them with your silence. Just let karma take them over. And I said, look, just because you might have a problem in your, in your life doesn't mean you're going to take it out on other people. Do you know what I mean? You think what you think is fun, you're actually bullying other people and it's not right. How would you do feel if someone did, did that kind of thing to you or try to push you around and bully you? You would obviously want to like it. But obviously he blocked me on his pages and that. Don't, don't, don't matter to me at all, you know what I mean? And obviously, but I still had other friends Saying, yeah, Chris, you're taking it off now, he's taking it off. I was like, oh, that's cool. Don't have to take it any further. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's not, it wasn't the best thing to do, but I feel it all gets kind of bullied somewhere or another. And, um, and things like that as well, you know. And it's not nice. It's just, it's a horrible thing. I mean, I've been doing youth work for years. And obviously I had uh, friends and relatives who work in schools and stuff. And you see it. Even if uh, a kid's got like a scar on his face, or even an adult got a little scar on her face, or we might look different, or we might act different, people are always trying to pick up on that and trying to bully people with that, you know what I mean? And obviously even with um, all this pandemic going on, going on the trains, always wearing my mask and stuff like that. And, you know, so there's one particular guy, he started just spitting on the track. I was even before the train come. Yeah, the other guy said, mate, stop spitting. It's not, it's, it's, with, with all the things that's going on, look, man, just don't spit, please. Just, it's, it's disgusting. And ended up having a fight and almost went off off the track and stuff. Would be nice. Pop, proper damn uh, danger type of thing as well. Right? So it's just about having that bit of respect kind of thing and all that as well, you know? And, um, <sighs> But you know, it's it's always a hard thing, but I they always say when it comes to bullying, it's, it's one of those things where um, it's, it's almost like some people that do the bullying have that kind of like problem on their own. Do you know what I mean? So you have to show a bit that compassion towards them as well. Say, so look, I don't want you bullying me, but I can understand that you might be going through things. Instead of actually trying to bully me, why don't you go to someone to talk about it and help you out. You know what I mean? Just because sometimes when things don't go right for you, you tend to take it out on other people because sometimes you find it hard to realize just how how hard it is to uh, to show how, how, what your feelings are, you know? And you know what I mean? Especially for, like for a guy, there's always been this thing about we have to be macho, masculine, and all this type of stuff. Off is strong, supposed to have no feelings and all this, but you know what? I think that's probably one of those things that's made us kind of like kind of weak, you know, not like in that, in that sense, but in the same in the same thing as well, you know what I mean? So, even now, it's like I always say, if you got 
if you're feeling bad, feel upset, or anything like that, just say, what well, I say, what will kill you makes you stronger. Do you know what I mean? So keep on saying what you feel, how you feel. Do you know what I mean? And um, but at the end of the day, just be you, be yourself. Don't allow other people's misery or sorrow get you down. Just tell her, oh, look, if you want anyone to be there for you, I'll be there for you. That's why I said if peace people more spent more time trying to be there for each other, make each other smile more, there'll be probably less hatred in the world. But as I said, there's probably always going to be some walls out there. There's always going to be people that are going to get upset at something. But if one by one people start being more happy and just realise how blessed we are, it'll be a better world, you know? And even when people say you only live once, we don't live once. We go up every day. We live and live another day. So every day we get up, we live another day. You know what I mean? So don't ever give up. Don't get angry over other people that want to bully you. Do you know what I mean? And it's almost like when you're paying for a service, you want to get the best service. Do you know what I mean? So if you treat your employees right, employees will, will treat the customers right. It's just about it's just a circle, circle of life. What comes around goes around. You have to treat each other with the most respect and all this type of stuff as well, you know? So, um, but you know what? The thing is, we you need to understand more on how we can help each other out, how we can combat the bullying. Do you know what I mean? And it's almost like come to like the peer pressure. Oh, if you don't do this, you're going to get that. If you don't do that, you'll get this. Do you know what I mean? And come a vicious circle. There's so many people that have got stabbed in like this postcode wars and like city wars and whatever. Do you know what I mean? And do you know it's it's a wrong thing like to do type of thing as well, do you know what I mean? So the best thing you can do is just try to help each other out. Do you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with actually getting that kind of help to combat the bullying. Do you know what I mean? So Keep on doing what you have to do. And if you if you do feel you're getting bullied, man or woman or child or anything, get help. It don't make you any less of a person if you go out and get that help from someone. Do you know what I mean? So don't be afraid to get that help to combat the bullying and all that as well, you know? So uh, I hope obviously you get a whole lot more out of this. Do you know what I mean? So obviously... In the next live video, we're going to a little bit more on how about the bullying and how you can actually combat it as well. And it's it's always a tough situation to to go through for bullying. So just think about, it, just start writing down. All right, cool. This what write down everything that person's done to you. All right, thinking, okay, he's done this, she's done this, done this, done that, and that. What can I do to combat that? Then write the write what can you do to oh, to make it better. Do you know what I mean? So you might be scared if I say you're gonna do this to me. Do you know what I mean? So it's just a matter of actually trying to combat it. Do you know what I mean? So we'll keep on talking and keep on going through it. And obviously I for one would help anyone that I can do. So never never give up. And I hope or see you all have a nice weekend. Because obviously in the UK we've got bank holidays, so three day weekends and all that as well. So um hope all of you have a lovely, lovely weekend. Peace out, people.